You, just as I have heard it said, you can't take it with you. Well, there are some things that we don't want to take with us. I know what they're talking about. They're talking about material possessions. When we die, we can't take those with us. But this morning, we stand on the cusp of a brand new year. And let's remember that there are some things that we should not take with us. But we will, if we're not really careful and cautious, we should not take with us into the coming year the things that made us angry things that frustrated us, the things that caused us to be unforgiving, the thing that caused us to forget to be loving and merciful and gracious. Let's don't take our frustrations into the coming year, but let's see if we can remember what Jesus said. Our loneliness, don't take it with you because Jesus said, Lo, I'm with you always to the very end of the age. Lack of love, Jesus said, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples if you have love one for another. An unforgiving spirit, Jesus said, just as you've been forgiven, you also ought to be able to forgive. And then the implication is just as we have received mercy and grace, we ought to be merciful and gracious. Can't take it with us? Some things we shouldn't want to take with us, but if we're not really careful, we will lug that same baggage into the coming year and wind up the next year, should the Lord let us live. And if he tarries, we'll wind up with the same frustration and the same lack of affection for the Lord and for one another and the same sense of failure. Don't take it with you. Leave it with the Lord. He can deal with it through his own forgiving spirit. Thanks for watching Don Howell, today's Minute Message.